Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy J Rock. Now, if you like, um, if you enjoy watching reviews on pop culture stuff, movies, books, so on and so on, or fragrance related reviews, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You might like what you see here, and uh, that way it'll notify you on your feed every time a new video is up. That way you can check it out. Okay, now today I'm gonna be hitting you with a fragrance review. We're gonna be reviewing something from a clone house. Um, this is Sensual Obsessions. This is a 30 ml decant. See the logo there? It's an S and an O. It's kind of old, like the ring from Lord of the Rings with an S inside it. Here's the brand, Sensual Obsessions. If you have any questions about this um, website or this house, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. I'll be glad to answer anything you might uh, be interested in knowing. I'll try to answer it in this video, but in case it's something I didn't get around to, these come in this and with this bag and these decants. They also have 50 ml decants and 120 ml decants. I mean, uh, like bottles. So I went with this. This is twenty dollars for this 30 uh 30 ml bottle. Yeah, and it's thirty dollars for a 50 ml bottle, and I believe fifty dollars for 120 ml bottle. I recommend starting with a small bottle like this first, so you can see if you like it before you commit to buying the big ones. Now, Clone House, if you're not familiar with this, is basically they do their interpretation of more expensive fragrances, but it's kind of like a knockoff, I guess you could say. They do their interpretation at a cheaper price, more cost effective. For those of us that don't want to spend $150, you know, uh, just uh, on a fragrance, might want to buy this. Or for those of us that you want to buy something cheaper that smells similar, try it out, see if you like it before you buy the real thing because the, sometimes there will be different slight similar uh, differences or sometimes uh, one will last longer than the other and so forth right okay so now let's get to the review this one is Dolce Gabbana's velvet line their velvet line is basically like a more premier kind of like niche line that's more expensive and this and on their velvet line this one is called exotic leather or at least this is Central Obsessions um, play on, on this fragrance. Now, to me, when I smell this, upon an initial spray, it smells amazing. It's like those first five minutes, it's like a 10 out of 10 scent. Then it dries down. It dries down about 20 minutes in. The fragrance changes, right? So once it changes, um, it's not as strong, and it's uh, it, it has like a spicy, like a ginger note. That once it dries down after like 15, 20 minutes, that's no longer there. Then it also has like a cinnamon, uh, uh big red gum. If you ever uh, tried that gum before, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you smell uh, Paco. Raban 1 million, it has that cinnamon, big red gums uh, smell as well. This has that, but it's not as strong, not as overbearing. Now, it has that in the opening, along with like a velvet cake type of smell and that ginger. But that ginger goes away after like 10, 15 minutes, and the other two notes still stay there. So, it has like a spiciness because of that cinnamon. And, um, and like I said, it has that velvet feel to it and it's pretty linear it stays there the the rest of the way it doesn't really change much so on the dry down i give it like about a 8.5 i would say somewhere around there so the scent overall even on the dry down the opening i like both it doesn't change much from the dry down other than that um than that extra note that it kind of has and it's not as strong after a few minutes but the projection overall is it's not bad. Um, it's not terrible. It's it's okay. My problem with this is the longevity. It's it's basically non-existent. The longevity to me on this is about two hours, maybe a little over two hours, and that would be kind of stretching it. So that was a the big downfall for me in in performance. I would give this about a three point five out of ten. The performance is just, it's not there. And I'm not one of these cats that likes 
applying, two hours later, reapplying, carrying a decan around with me, you know, that's out. That's, that's, I don't live that life and I'm not about to begin. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I, that to me was a big turn off, like I said, but I still didn't mind getting this for 20 bucks. I got a good idea of the scent, the scent itself. I'm digging. I have no problem with it. Um, it was just the performance, but I do like the scent. So I will be getting, I will be getting that, um, the original. If it smells anything like this, I'll be happy with the purchase. And I'm pretty sure the performance is not going to be two hours. I'm pretty sure I get more. If I get six, seven hours, I'll be happy with that. So yeah, this was good enough to get me in the door. See if it's something I wanted to purchase. And now I feel more confident about ordering that online. Because that fragrance is not in the stores around here that I've gone to. So I can't smell it. And I don't want to just drop the type of money it costs. Without knowing what I'm getting into. So now that I smelled it. I'm more confident about what I'm getting. And about spending uh, money on it. So all in all. It was, a, it was a good experience ordering from here. If you have any questions like I said. Let me know in the comment section. About prices or website and so forth. And um, yeah the scent. Uh, the overall score. Probably give it somewhere around a 7. 7 out of 10. For price, for uh, performance, and the scent itself. Uh, it was okay. I did order a few more. So I'll be reviewing those, those as well as we go. And in case you guys are curious about the Automizer. It sprays a pretty big cloud. Check it out. It's a pretty big cloud. But it's like, it doesn't directly all go in your arm. It's like a big mist. So a lot of it misses and goes all over the place. But it does get a lot of juice on there. You see this, how much I have to be, how much I've been wasting lately. So I've been giving this some pretty good use. That's what I've been wearing this week. Give it a good amount of wear. Like I tell you, this opening on this is fire. But yeah, guys, um, all in all, um, if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. Helps out the channel. Helps it get around. That way we get more action in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I answer all the comments. Uh, it's my favorite part of making the videos. And uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, I have my links in the description down below. Other than that, I just uh, you know like to thank you guys for taking some time out of your day, checking out the video, you know, showing your support. And um, I'll just check you guys out next time.